I'm going to say this to all of y'all, man. This, here's a trip. This, this is the crazy part. We can have discussions about Leopold of Belgium, who, who wiped out over 12 to 15 million Congolese Africans in the Congo. Mm. You can talk about that all day. It won't get taken down. We can talk about George Washington, who owned a lot of our ancestors, pretty much every black person. Almost every black person is a great, 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 great descendant of one of the slaves that George Washington owned. That's why you have the last name Washington, for the most part. We can talk about all of the people who owned our people, killed our people, raped and robbed our people. Again, holidays, books, streets named after them, all of that. Perfectly fine. Nothing is taken down. Why? Because we don't own the very media and the means of production as it pertains to the books, the history, etc., to where we can control the things that we find offensive, to where we move that out of the way, don't even talk about that, don't even utter the name. But the reality is everyone should be able to talk about history. It doesn't matter who it is. In certain countries and nations, you can't talk about certain people because of what that person did to those people in that actual nation, mm -hmm. which I absolutely understand. But America helped Hitler. Mm -hmm. See, here's the part that I don't like. It's the blatant, overt hypocrisy. You know BMW? You've seen the BMW. Yes. Yeah, good old Hitler. That's Nazis. Oh, wow. Mercedes. BMW. Wow. Mercedes, you like, you like those? <laughs> I mean, it, it, Adolf Hitler. Uh, wow. Adolf Hitler, Nazis. Oh, you, you like uh, Krispy Kreme donuts? Yeah. Partially founded Nazis. God damn. You like Reebok? Think, God damn. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nazis. Damn. See, let's again. Let's 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 cut the cap. <laughs> yeah. Let's really God knock damn. this off because people yeah. are really talking about oh Hitler. I don't want to talk about Hitler. Okay, was it right for him to go on there? It wasn't right for him to go on there, not having the proper articulation and knowledge to discuss it in an intellectual manner. Yeah. And I will say that when it comes to any of us who get up here and talk, if you don't know the facts and not just knowing the facts but how to articulate them in a mm -hmm. way where it is completely specific. Yeah, I'm talking about yeah. in a way where you, it can't nobody <laughs> use the, yeah. you know what I'm talking about, like you said, the what about, yeah. well, what about, no, <laughs> no. If I say Adolf Hitler as an artist may have had some decent paintings, mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't get attacked for that. It's a damn painting. Mm -hmm. But because, oh, he painted, I don't give a damn about him. <laughs> yeah. He helped to kill some of our people too yeah. in the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. They don't talk about the native African, you know, Germans who were there. They don't talk about the over 20,000 who were wiped out in Auschwitz. Mm -hmm. They don't talk about that. Hitler wiped out black folks too. Mm. Don't get this twisted. He, he a cold nigga, man. Don't, no, don't get this twisted. <laughs> yeah. He learned a lot of what he learned as it pertains to the sterilization and particularly with needles from California. From this state, what it was doing over here to the over 20,000 black and brown women in the prisons. Mm -hmm. Adolf Hitler gave the credit to California wow. for that part as it pertains to the eugenics movement where he also adopted a lot of information from the eugenics society where they were talking about getting rid of those who are feeble-minded, life unworthy of living, the cripples, the handicapped, blacks, all these different things. He learned a lot of that from here. Mm -hmm. So it's like, wait, 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 if y'all really want to go there, you helped him. And not only that, but they love Hitler. He he made Time Magazine's Man of the Year. I seen that. That Bro, was wild. Don't play me. Yeah. Not only that, the swastika didn't come from the Nazis. Oh wow, it didn't. White folks have stolen a lot of things. Oh wow. Okay, <laughs> including the very symbol that the Nazis use. They use the red dealing with certain parts. They use the white dealing with the nationalism, and they use the swastika, mm. which was an Indian symbol of peace. Oh wow. And good friendship. And good morality. That symbol is used all throughout Africa. That symbol is used in Ethiopia. That symbol is used in uh, in some areas in, when it comes to the pyramids mm. in ancient Kemet. That symbol was used by our people for peace and tranquility and good faith and love and all these positive affirmations long before Adolf Hitler and the Nazis took it over and stole it. That symbol was used by the Navajo tribe here in Phoenix, Arizona, bro. Wow. Up until the 1940s, they had to remove it. It was used over here. Coca-Cola used to use the swastika. Mm -hmm. The swastika, there's a swastika city in New York. Let me help you, bro. Wow. There's a swastika city in Ontario, Canada. I believe Ontario, Canada, but in Canada for sure. Wow. The swastika has been used all over the place for years. So again, he stole that. They stole that, just like they have stolen a lot of different things. And now you can't even talk about that. Yeah. And I'm not encouraging people to go put the swastika on because there's yeah. so much horrible history that they have put on it yeah. to where you have to put things in full context before you even jump out here and do something like Kanye was trying to do. Mm -hmm. So my point is, he didn't have the ability to articulate what he was saying. Mm -hmm. And he said some things that were just blatantly like, okay, come on, bro. Yeah. yeah I love Hitler, is what he said. Yeah, that's I love really, Nazis, yeah. is what he said. And then he said, well, as a Christian, and I was like, oh, don't do that. <laughs> don't go there. Yeah. I was like, dude, please don't <laughs> yeah. use the, the yeah. you know, the love is love as a Christian because uh, yes, according to the faith, mm -hmm. 
you can't call a person that after they repent, they turn from their wicked ways and they are working to atone and do better for humanity, blah, blah, blah. But come on, bro. You, you can't you can't use it that way. And that's why the people responded in the way that they did when he said what he said. Mm -hmm. And the last part I want to mention is, again, because the point is he should be able to talk about whoever he wants to talk about. You're just dealing with a world that is so emotional. Mm -hmm. People don't think. They operate along stimulus response. Most people right now are on so many damn drugs, they mm -hmm. can't think straight half the time in the first place. And then the people who are controlling the media are always looking at what offends them. Mm -hmm.